These three million soldiers, their wives and their children, had already figured just what each of them would do with the few hundred dollars that each one of them were to get. No doubt each of them had calculated to pay some debts, to buy some food and to buy some clothes and maybe to send a boy or a girl to school. And it's more than cruel to have this soldier's bonus vetoed at this time when these men have waited 17 years to be paid what they're due. And it's even more cruel than that to have the president make such a grandiloquent occasion of making a marvelous demonstration of his veto and therefore sending the dagger into the heart of three million soldiers and their wives and their families.